Ferdinand de Suscher 1857-1913 was a Swiss linguist and semiotician who is considered one of the founding figures of modern linguistics. He is known for his influential work on structural linguistics and his theory of sign systems, which has had a significant impact on fields such as linguistics, semiotics, and literary theory. Suscher's philosophy can be summarized by the following key concepts, sign and signifier signified, Susha argued that language is a system of signs, where a sign is composed of two parts, the signifier the physical or sensory form of the sign, such as a sound or a written word and the signified the mental concept or meaning associated with the sign according to Susha, the relationship between the signifier and the signified is arbitrary and conventional, meaning that there is no inherent connection between the form of a sign and its meaning. Linguistic structure, Suscher emphasized the importance of studying language as a structured system, rather than as a collection of isolated words or sounds. He argued that the meaning of a sign is not determined by its individual components, but by its position within the larger linguistic system. He introduced the concept of lang, which refers to the underlying structure of a language, including its rules, conventions, and patterns of organization. Synchrony and diachrony. Suscher made a distinction between synchronic linguistics, which focuses on the structure of a language at a particular moment in time, and diachronic linguistics, which studies the historical development and changes of a language over time. He argued that understanding the synchronic structure of a language is crucial for analyzing its meaning and functioning in society. Language as social institution, Suscher viewed language as a social institution that is shaped by and shapes the society in which it is used. He emphasized the social and cultural aspects of language, including its role in communication, identity formation, and the transmission of culture. Arbitrary nature of language, Suscher argued that the relationship between the signifier and the signified in language is arbitrary, meaning that there is no natural or inherent connection between the form of a sign and its meaning. The meanings of words are determined by social conventions and shared cultural understandings, rather than by any inherent properties of the sounds or symbols used in the language. Language and thought, Suscher proposed that language and thought are closely intertwined, with language shaping and influencing our thinking processes. He argued that language provides the framework for organizing and expressing our thoughts, and that our thoughts are shaped by the structure and conventions of the language we use. Importance of Semiotics Suscher's work laid the foundation for the field of semiotics, which is the study of signs and symbols and their meanings in various domains, including language, communication, culture, and society. His ideas on the arbitrary nature of signs, the structure of sign systems, and the relationship between language and society have been influential in semiotics and related fields. Suscher's philosophy has had a lasting impact on linguistics, semiotics, and related fields, and his concepts and theories continue to be widely studied and debated in contemporary scholarship. His work has contributed to our understanding of language as a complex social phenomenon, and his ideas have influenced various disciplines beyond linguistics, including semiotics, anthropology, sociology, and literary theory.